Okay, what's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing all right. Today's Sunday. The quarantine. This is me at home in my room. Oh, yeah, by the way, Sheldon right here, director of Front Runner Sports Management. Welcome to my channel. You know, I'm about trying to let people in on my life. What I try to do on a regular basis to get business going, it's not easy. It's a lot of work. I'm here in the living room, fasting and prayer today. Read my Bible this morning. Talked to my friend from America, in Cincinnati. Met her in Florida last year. Ah, it's been a cool, cool experience. I had to clean up some trash. My dog, a dog came by and messed up the whole garbage. It's ridiculous. So I'm um, just trying to get people in on what I do on a regular basis. There it is. I had to clean up. Clean up all that mess. Yeah, but basically, Sundays I try to make it not be much about work. Sundays I try to let it be more about my time with God, my sit down time, my, you know, opportunity to just relax. And that's what I'm all about, you know, not trying to be too active. Most Sundays I'm like that. I mean, yeah, I check my emails. I'm still addicted to my phone. But at the same time, I try to be organized. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's all gravy for me. I'm all about trying to be honest about my work. You know, talk about how I got into sports management, how I'm a high school teacher again. I've taught at about four different high schools, by the way. Everybody thinks I'm dysfunctional, I'm crazy, because, you know, I'm always from place to place to place. But the mindset I have is like this. I read a book, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, by Robert Kiyosaki when I was 18 years old. I'm 33 years old now. And I realized that, you know, most people are not taught about business or financial literacy and i did not want that to be me you know these cars you see me walk by they're my brother he's a management study student i watched this guy growing up and he's all about the money and he knows how to make money and that's what I, one of the things I learned in business was to mind your own business. You know, not even saying that a disrespectful way, but just monitor your business. Learn about business. Learn about how money works. And what I learned about money is money never constant. Money always flows. It's, it's, it's currency. That's why they call it currency. Money is operates like the streams of a river. And that's why if you want to be rich or wealthy, you need to have multiple streams of income. You understand? So that's when I realized that, you know, the one job thing, it was not going to work. You know, I've been trying to get out of the rat race for years. And it was, it, it, it's, it's horrible. It took, it took such a long time. Let me show you one of my business cards here. This is my business card I'm showing you guys. Brother just stepped out of the room. I wonder if you want to say hello. I don't want to say nothing. This is my business card for my business. So whenever anyone wants to talk to me, that's what they look at. That's what I give them. But I stopped giving out business cards now. Because it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time. I just have it just to promote the business. Most of the people I've given a business card, they have never called me about business. I physically have to create an opportunity, whether I was at a pharmacy or a gym. And you know, people just don't like support black business people with a great idea for some strange reason. Most of the business I've gotten are 
people who actually care about the sports business or foreigners. Most people don't really understand what I am up to offer and it's not even rocket science. It's what people actually do. So basically, I'm building this channel, I'm building this video, talking about you know my journey. And when I realized that um just start with a passion, with a love for sports, you know. I played badminton, I did a little bit of track and field in high school, love football. Arsenal and Barcelona is my favorite team. Also, I enjoy just watching sports, you know. My family is more fans than I am. I wanted to actually get in the, the world of sports. When I was in the national junior squad for badminton, I met so many top players from Jamaica and other countries. And I said that hopefully one day I get to represent Jamaica and travel like my friends. Unfortunately, I didn't have the support financially. My parents never understand badminton. Parents are country people, but they supported me nevertheless. It's just, but, but what I realized was that you needed sponsorship deals. You needed you know, somebody to actually write to a company or write to some rich person to get support. And that's when I realized that I needed a manager. I needed somebody who actually understood business. And God worked it out in such a weird way. Like, I went to University of the West Indies in Mona for an English degree. However, I built that, I used that skill of writing, and that is what enabled me to write my business plan, write sponsorship proposals. I never closed any deal though. But over the years, even though I've worked as a journalist, a high school teacher, car center rep. I've had so many different jobs. Writing was such a great skill. And I didn't think it was a skill because I, I wasn't making a lot of money as a writer. And I never thought it was no big deal. But at the same time, I realized that it was an important skill. You know how much people can read and write in real life? Like, I underestimated the power of a word. Especially the spoken word. When you can communicate, when you can write, like people read my brochure, what read one of the brochures I write for my business the other day, and they were like, Bro, are you like a marketing genius or something? This is so well done. Like, I would buy your stuff based on what you just written. I was like, No, nah, bro, I just I've, I have a very big vocabulary, I can write. Words, you know, for I've, I've written so much and I started very horribly. I've never, I'm actually not a very good student at college, at university. But over the years, I kept working at it, kept working at it because, you know, you have to eat, you need an income. And that's when I realized that writing this skill is actually a big deal. I remember one time I was in Florida and I met some Brazilian guy who didn't speak English good and I you know wanted to make a few bucks not gonna lie <laughs> I didn't rip him off I just like you know I needed a few money some money and I charged him the guy paid me money because I, what had happened was I was actually supposed to even go to China to teach at a university but I went to America for a while and then I was going to head to China. But then my business was struggling in Jamaica. You know, my team was just not doing well. I, I'm, I've, I've been managing a cricket player. His name is Ramon Francis. Two years, three years now. You know, he's not on contract with me anymore. But trust me, this skill of, of speaking, you can learn how to negotiate. You can learn how to market. You can learn how to copyright you can learn how to edit you can edit to promote speaking writing is an amazing skill that i totally underestimated and that's why i'm here talking to you and that's where i'm gonna leave it today so hopefully we'll get to talk some more tomorrow about how i got into sports management 
all the gyms I've worked with, all the top athletes I've met and seen. And you see what time of day it is. So enjoy the rest of the day, people. And it's been good. Peace out.